feet, 117. 10 seconds. And there it is, the starting gun. They are away and racing in the 70th edition of the Rolex Sydney Hobart. 117 yachts begin the battle to win one of the world's most famous ocean races. And look at that, the four maxis there. Comanche got the, the jump. She is smoking down the harbour. She just got to leeward of Wild Oats. They unfurled the reaching sails. And when you heard Mark Richards saying deploy, that means unfurl the front sail to give the maximum power. Ragamuffin, most right as we look, then Perpetual Loyal, then Comanche, and then Wild Oats. But look at them smoking down the harbour now in this 15 to 18 knot southeasterly breeze. Exactly what we wanted to see, a fast run, and Comanche's got the lead at the moment, and a duel between Wild Oats 11 and Ragamuffin back from there, and there's Perpetual Loyal sitting in fourth spot at the moment. Nice breeze on here. It's going to be good for us up here, they're not going to be able to carry it. Let's just go fast here. Ease, ease the lane. Good work, guys. Get the board up, board up, board up. Come on. Top right of your screen, you're on board with Wild Oats. Bottom nice right, Comanche. Really good work. They are smoking. Look at that thing go. Woo. The boys well up here. Where's Sound Pigs? Yeah. Bang on. Get some bang on. Let's go, Moth. Bang on, mate. Bang on. Well, the two Super Maxis are pulling away. Comanche and Wild Oats 11. What's the board say? You heard Mark Richards say there, look at the speed of Comanche. He is blown away by what he's seen so far. Something's not right here, guys. Something's not right. We're going real slow. Real slow here. Look at that thing go. Please. Hey, you think I want to do on the deploy? Wow, look at Comanche. She is smoking. They have put that pedal down, and uh, this is probably a very good wind angle for her. Without stating the obvious, you can see what she's done to Wild Oats in such a short period of time. Ragamuffin hanging in, Perpetual Loyal hanging in, but it's all Comanche at the moment. They must be very pleased with this little short period of the race, but a long way to go. They've got to get through tonight. But there is something in it, Peter, is that you want to be first out of the heads. You, you want that pride and you want to pin that medal on your chest that, that you flexed a bit of muscle early on. Yes, I think that's right. And uh, she's certainly going to be first out. I guess this is an incredible show of strength by Comanche in these conditions. And you heard Mark Richards say, I just don't know what's happening here. We feel like we're going slow, but they are making good pace. It's just that Comanche is so fast in these conditions. He kept saying, look at it go. I, it's very surprising for Rico. He's normally more pumped and that worried about his own boat. But I think he's been pretty impressed, as we all have been, at the speed of Comanche. And remember, in Comanche 2, you're watching the world's newest Super Max. I mean, this thing is carbon fibre from top to toe. It is as light as you would get. There is no extra weight on board, but it is fast. It certainly is. It'll be very interesting to see, once they get round the turning mark, turning mark Victor in the heads, of how she performs upwind. But she's just trying to... Roll the front sail up. They're furling that front sail up. And once they get it furled, they'll take it down below. It's a big, heavy sail. It's where you need all the crew, the big, heavy men, get up on the foredeck and wrestle that sail below. But as you can see now, they're furling it. And that'll slowly disappear on the furl. Horsepower on the main, boys! Ken Reid there, the skipper of Comanche, asking for more on the grinders. It's a slow furl on Comanche. They've got to get that sail away before they turn the mark. I would do it right at the mark if you were ready. And just to the bottom, ahead of Comanche, you see the turning mark. Actually, you can see the two turning marks, one in the foreground and one a bit higher up there. That's the boats on the back line will turn and that other mark just going out of picture now. But here comes Comanche. We need a dagger board, right? We need a dagger board. We get the lowest dagger board, boy. Not going to get him. Not going to get him. Not going to get him. He's a mate. Smoke the mate for a second. Smoke it. Wow. Four minutes, 35 seconds to the turning mark. That's got to be a record. Copy that. Now, this is the big test. Comanche on the wind. It's too loose. 
It will not go. Too late. He wasn't ready. Let's get it going. Now, what, that's the voice of Kenny Reed, the skipper on Comanche. What he's trying to do is trying to get that front sail down and get it tied away and down below because they don't need that going to windward. Here comes Oates around the mark now. And that in a time of 5 minutes 13 seconds is pretty quick too. So what Mark Richards was saying earlier about not having enough speed, they actually have good speed. It's just that Comanche is that much quicker again. <laughs> One boat's a little bit quicker, and that's a problem. That's a big problem. So they're the two boats. They're on their way, on their way south, out to the, the turning mark. I'm out of balance. Here comes Ragamuffin. They've done a good job too. Brand new, as new as Comanche. She's third around.